This is Jeff Alton, Big Game Hunter. Welcome to Job Search Radio. Are you looking for a new job or interested in leveling up? Job Search Radio is your go-to resource for insider tips on job hunting and growing your career. Here's your host, Jeff Altman. This is Job Search Radio, episode 414. I'm your host, Jeff Altman, the big game hunter, the head coach for Job Search, CoachingHQ.com, and NoBSCoachingAdvice.com. And welcome. Today is a show that I know will be unpopular because most people don't get the concept of branding. But I'm going to tell you, folks, this is one of the more important shows to listen to because branding is pivotal to you throughout your career. No matter what level you were at organizationally, now is the time to start branding. I want to repeat that. Now is the time to start branding. Hope you pay attention to this show. Please give it five stars on iTunes or Stitcher. It does help other people find the show. I also want to mention, if you're interested in my coaching, you uh, listen to the end of the show. There's information there that will help you. And if we're not connected on LinkedIn, send a connection request to me at linkedin.com forward slash IN forward slash the big game hunter. And with that, let's get going. People send me resumes all the time. And resumes are a very flat document that demonstrate what a person's normally accomplished up until that point. But it doesn't necessarily tell me how they're an expert. Now, when you th- think of yourself, well, let me, let me backtrack for a second. When marketers uh, start to build their product or service, they're trained to think of an avatar, who their ideal audience is, who their customer is, down to the most minute detail. Uh, It's a 40-year-old male who lives in an urban uh, environment. Uh, They may have come to the United States from another country, um, most likely India. Uh, They attended university there, uh, got high grades, Uh, completed their master's, and they are working as uh, a cybersecurity expert for a global consulting firm. I'm just using that as an example of of the detail to which we could go uh, down the road. We could continue by talking about who he's married to, how many children he has, where he lives, a whole host of other things. But in thinking of yourself as the potential avatar. What are your strengths? What are you really expert at? Where could you lend credibility to an organization? Now, in talking about yourself as a brand, because that's really what we're talking about, you need to start thinking about building reputation and credibility and marketing yourself because marketing yourself is the branding process. Uh, Establishing yourself as the expert is the launch point. So these days it's a lot easier to do. So for example, here I am talking to you as I've have done uh, 1300 plus times online uh, on video. I also host podcasts. Uh, I also publish e-zines about job search. I've worked in search for more than 40 years, filled over 1,200 positions on a full-time basis, plus plus tons of consulting assignments. So part of what I've accomplished comes from my branding efforts. And when you think of the big game hunter, which is the brand I've worked on developing to differentiate myself from all the other recruiters, talent acquisition specialists, head of North American whatever uh, that many recruiters title themselves with, I went out and trademarked that term. I've been working on building a brand uh, to appear as an expert. So I've been writing first blogging about the job market since August 2001. Uh, I've attended meetings and workshops where I've talked to individuals. I market my successes readily. Uh, I've appeared on other people's podcasts, interviews, uh, live streams, whole host of other places. I've got a professional uh, website, which I developed while I was associated with another firm. So uh, I started 
putting out all my content, ideas, jobs I was recruiting for very early on in the website game. And when the firms I was associated with didn't get websites, I did and developed a content website that also had information about jobs I was recruiting for. Now, I'm talking about myself, but I want you to think of it for you for yourself. I don't expect you to be working on the same schedule that I am. But what's difficult about writing an article once a month for LinkedIn and marketing it to your followers, to the groups that you're involved with? What's difficult about logging on for 15 minutes a day onto LinkedIn and in, in getting involved in some of the groups that you've joined and offering people advice? What's difficult about uh, attending um, uh, uh, trade groups for your area of specialization? And I'm not talking about traveling to places. I'm talking about very simply attending them locally. You can go to meetups and start on a local level to start uh, establishing the relationships. Now, when you think about how people find jobs, you know, the statistic is 70% of positions are filled through networking, but 70% of the 70% are filled through what are called weak ties. People that you have a casual relationship with or people who are friends of friends of people that you know well. Uh, so, you know, when you think of how you start building your expertise, well, uh, that's going to involve training and experiences. But how you appear as an expert to others comes from marketing, promoting, and branding yourself. Uh, it is very easy these days to build a web website. $15 for a domain name. Do not use something like, I'll use my own name, Jeff Altman dot whatever the host is dot com uh, for one of those services that will give you a subdomain on their main domain. Don't do that. Just go for a traditional website. Try to have it use your name. Put your resume there as well. Recruiters love to find resumes online and they think they're very smart uh, when they do so. Make sure your resume, just like your LinkedIn profile, is SEO optimized. By the way, one thing I learned about LinkedIn recently, if you lose your job, do not put a termination date there. What it tells Link, what LinkedIn's search engines do is push you down further in the search if you're not working. So a little tip thrown in there. But your job is not just to build your brand when you're aggressively looking for work, but to continue to build your brand way after you found work, to make that part of your continuing effort to brand and market and promote yourself as an expert throughout your career. If you do that, jobs will be coming to you and opportunities will be coming to you and salaries will be growing for years to come. If you don't, you lurch from job search to job search, always struggling to find interviews, always struggling to be seen as someone valuable. And that's always the harder way to play. So that's today's show. I hope you found it helpful. And if you did, here are a few ways to hire me to help you with your job search. First of all, let me just start by saying I no longer do recruiting. So I'm not here to help place you in a job or help find the job for you. However, if you're interested in my coaching you, critiquing your resume and or LinkedIn profile, help you with your networking, prepare you for interviews, help you with a negotiation, a whole host of services. Visit TheBigGameHunter.us, use the tabs on the top, place an order with me, I'd be very happy to help you. I also want to say that, you know, there's a lot of great information at JobSearchCoachingHQ.com where I have curated information that you can watch, listen to, or read. It's the best of my content to help you with your search. Now, all of my stuff is at TheBigGameHunter.us, but people tell me that it's overwhelming. If you want my best, visit JobSearchCoachingHQ.com. I'll be back soon with more, and in the meantime, have a great day. Take care. 
If you would like to have Jeff give you advice about your job search, you'll love JobSearchCoachingHQ.com. This site has all of Jeff's books and guides to job hunting available free. The ability to have Jeff answer your questions, plus podcasts and videos that will help you with all the different parts of a job search, including writing a winning resume and cover letter, great answers to interview questions, how to negotiate effectively, whether you want an easy way or want to get tough, plus a community of people like you who you can get advice from. The site, again, is JobSearchCoachingHQ.com. That's JobSearchCoachingHQ.com.